with the picture. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, guys. How are you? Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you all? Pretty good? I'm pretty good so far, teacher. So far, yeah. so good, teacher. All right. I like to hear that. Excellent. Uh, and um, did you guys um, already have all of the um, all of the exercises that you guys want me to help you with in the platform? Are you guys ready with that? I'm done, teacher. Oh, good. Okay. Okay, good, good. Um, all right, if you're done, that's great. Bravo, good job. I have Excellent. a trouble, sorry. I have a trouble with the last part of the uh, final exam. Okay. So what we'll do right now, well, actually, what we'll do then is we're going to have a section um, just in a bit before, after I take the attendance, and um, we're going to be checking all of the part of the of the platform, any questions, any doubts that you guys have, I will uh, clarify them, um, and you just tell me exactly which um, exercises you want me to do. Uh, which exercises would you want me to uh, um, see? And we'll go directly to those, okay? So uh, what we'll do then um, is we will start with um, the attendance, okay? Okay. Okay, just give me a moment. Well, okay, so just make sure that you have the exact um, exercises so that we go directly to those exercises. Okay. Just give me a moment while the list um, starts to upload. Okay, here we go. Andrea Geraldine Sanchez Serino. Yes, the present teacher. All right, wonderful. Um, Angel Antonio Ramirez Rodriguez. Angel present, Antonio. Teacher, present, okay, present. wonderful. Thank you. Uh, Brandy Marido Pimentel Krolchek. Present. Thank you. Uh, Edgar Abel de Jara Benitez. Present, teacher. Excellent. Uh, Edson Stanley Hernandez Alvarenga. I'm here, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Eduardo Jose Melgar Melgar. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh -huh. Iliana Janet Alvarado Molina. Iliana Janet Alvarado Molina. Irma Raquel García de Monterrosa. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Jaime Roberto Aldana Beltran. Present. Thank you. Joana Yesenia Garcia de Hernandez. I'm here, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Present, teacher. Thank you. Marina Stephanie Arevalo Sanchez. Marina Stephanie Arevalo Sanchez. Eh, Nidia Esmeralda Marroquín Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you, Nidia. Reina Elizabeth Guerrero Gaitán. Present teacher. Wonderful. Is it possible to turn on the camera? Ay, que todavía no arreglo mi, mi, mi teléfono. Okay, y Rina, no me but, sirve la cámara. Bye. Y no hay nadie más quien le pueda prestar un, eh, un teléfono por la hora de la clase. No, es que fíjese que yo estoy, um, trabajo en un pueblo y créanme que agarrar señal donde estoy es bien difícil. Okay. Y entonces, uh -huh. no, no, no creo, pero voy a intentarlo la próxima clase. 
O sea, eh, si al, le pregunto, o sea, si alguien, digamos, de su casa le podría prestar un... El, Es el... que no soy, um, estoy, ¿cómo se llama? Mm, fuera de mi casa, estoy trabajando fuera de mi casa. Oh, ok, Entonces, ok. en el lugar donde yo estoy, solo me traigo mi teléfono, pero mi teléfono se le quebró, se me cayó. La cámara. y Ajá, no me agarré la mm. cámara. Ok, ok. Sí, 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 puede, pues. sí, sí es posible, ¿verdad? Um, podemos um, arreglar eso porque sí eh, se, se necesita, ¿verdad? La, el Sí, comprobante, sí, yo sé, ¿verdad? pero... Sí, pero... Ajá, está bien, eh, no hay problema. Cuando... Eh, sí, Si, has, si me hace el favor de, de ver si se puede solucionarlo de alguna forma, ¿verdad? Ok, eh, sí, voy a tratar la próxima clase. O sea, voy a ver bueno. cómo hago. Ok, vale, no hay problema. Gracias. Ok. Eh, quiero ver, quiero ver. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla García. Uh, present teacher. Wonderful, excellent. There present. you are. Great, thank you, Roberto. Um, Saúl Antonio Hernández Torres. Saúl Antonio. Saúl Antonio está ahí. Lo veo conectado, pero no sé si está ahí. Ok. Eh, ¿Hay manera de, de, de abrir su micrófono y su cámara un momentito? Ok, no, no, hay, no hay manera, o sea, no le agarra aunque sea un ratito, ¿no? Ok, bueno, all right. Um, ok, Susana Beatriz Abrego Blanco. I'm here, teacher. All right, wonderful, thank you, Susana. Vanessa Esmeralda Miranda Alfaro. Vanessa, okay, wonderful. Uh, Vanessa, is it possible to turn on the camera? I am going to try. Okay, please. Ah, there you are. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, Vanessa. Okay, thank you. And finally, Yancy Andrea Melendez Mayen. Thank you, teacher. Wonderful. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. So um, as I promised you, we are going to be checking um, in the platform for any of the problems that you may have. Um, so we'll do it in this way. Uh, you can raise your hand, your virtual hand, and we'll do it in order. of um, in the order that you guys raised your hand, okay? So, okay, so we'll start with Susana. Susana, right, um, which number? Mm -hmm. I have a trouble with the letter C of the final exam, okay. uh, the exercise number two and three. Okay, so final exam, letter C, you said, right? Yes. Okay, let me get there. And what number did you say? Two and three. Number two and three, okay. Just a moment. Okay, so this is some, um, okay, this is what we call uh, relative clauses, okay? Relative clauses are those um, sentences that can do two things. They can either identify um, what, the, what the person is referring to, like the, pers um, the person or thing, or um, it can identify it or define it. To give you an example, I can say uh, a bee is an insect that gives or that makes honey. 
A bee is an insect that makes honey. So I am identifying or defining what a bee is, right? Okay, um, so it could, the relative clause can do that. Now, if I'm identifying, I can put, I can use the word that, okay? So I can say, a bee is a, an insect that makes honey because I'm identifying it, I'm defining it, okay? I can use the word that. And there's no, no, no need for a comma. There's absolutely no commas. But if a, a relative clauses can also be used um, to give me extra information, okay? Give me extra information about something. For example, um, my brother, comma, who lives in Italy, comma, um, is coming to visit. Okay, so in that case, I'm not identifying who my brother is. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm giving you information about my uh, extra information about my brother. Okay, so okay. if I say, so in that case, when you have extra information, you use a comma and the ver and the word who to talk about people and the word which to talk about things, but never use that with those kind of uh, with those kind of exercises uh, or with those kind of uh, sentences where you have um, extra information. Okay, so in the case of that sentence there, we have, um, a, you have number two, dialogue editors are sound technicians. They specialize in editing film scripts. Okay, so what was the answer that you gave? Uh, the answer that I gave is dialogue editors, comma, who specialize in ed editing film scripts, comma, are sound technicians. Okay, all right, um, in that one, actually, are we giving extra information or are we defining? Are we identifying who they are? Um, defining? Yeah, exactly, we're defining. We're defining who, who they are. When we are defining, we don't need a comma. Oh, okay. all right. All right. That's my mistake. All right. Got all right. It. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So it should look just to make sure that you understand what I'm talking about. It should look like this. Okay. You can either you can either um, do dialogue editors or sound technicians who specialize in editing film scripts. Or you can say dialogue editors are sound technicians, is technicians that specialize in editing film scripts. Or dialogue editors are sound technicians that specialize in editing film scripts. So either any one of those three. The important thing is that you don't use a comma because you are defining what they are. And the other thing is that um, you can, in this case, use the word that, because in this one, you are defining. The one where you cannot use that um, is, is, is when you are given extra information. All right. Okay. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Makes a lot of sense. All right. Perfect. Perfect. All right. The uh, You said also number three was the problem? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in the number three, it says a property master is responsible for buying props. They are um, handled by actors. Um, it, are we giving extra information or are we defining? I'm not sure because I'm not sure what the handled by the actor means. Okay, so handled or... Um, they are handled or manipulated or used by the actors. Mm -hmm. 
So are we so, defining? Are we identifying? Yeah, exactly. Um, we're defining um, who, um, we're, we're defining what kind of props they are. Okay, right. we're defining the props. In that case, again, no comma needed. No comma. And mm -hmm. in that case, we, um, we can use the word that. Okay, so it will look like this. Okay, so right here, a property master. Can you guys see my screen? Yes, I can. Okay, so yes. a property master is responsible for buying props that are handled by the actors. All right? All right. Sounds, sounds good, guys? Yes. Okay. All right, All right guys. Um, okay, good. Thank you. So You're favorite. welcome. You're welcome. Okay, who's next? Who would like to ask the next question about the platform? Really? That's it? Oh, I was expecting so many questions. Really, there's nobody else. Every everybody is either okay with the platform or you're finished. No, I in my case I didn't finish, but I'm working in the last part in the exam. So oh, okay, okay. So you haven't you haven't finished everything yet. Okay, no, all I right. Did. Okay, but so far you don't have any any problems, Brendy. No, I have had but the um somebody Edgar and Edson, I think somebody helped me. Oh, okay, yeah. wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so is that it? There are no more questions about our um our platform. In my case, teacher, I have problem with the letter B. The, for the the final exam. Okay, just a moment. Okay, so yeah, the letter B and uh, the part number two, and uh, the problem is the number four. I don't know. Okay, why. it's part I, number two, number four. Yeah, the last one. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't okay. know why. I tried to put uh uh by invited it, but I okay. don't know if it is wrong or but uh, I don't know uh I don't know I put B or something I put I don't put B so but it's the same problem I don't know if it is correct or or. I don't know, so that's why uh, I don't answer that. Okay, okay. So part. yeah, okay. So let me explain that part. That's that part there. It's talking about what we call the passive voice. Okay, and the passive okay. voice is um, the passive voice is um, a structure that we use to um, talk about that. Um, to concentrate on the object that receives the action, not that does the action. So in this case, we are concentrating on okay. um, on the people, right? The people, uh, the, the next people on the list. We're concentrating on them. We're not really concentrating on who invites the people uh, we're invite we're concentrating on those people so that's why we use the passive voice and the passive voice is um the is the the verb to be you're absolutely right and a past participle that's how you form it the verb to be plus past participle in this case the verb to be has to be used in the correct form so if we're talking about the next people on the list is that singular or plural uh singular uh the next uh, plural, plural yeah 
Exactly. Plural. It's plural. Okay. So the question is, what is the plural form of be? And here we have to talk about the, 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 the simple present, because if you notice at the beginning, it says, if some of them are available, so we're, we're using the tense in the present, right? So here, so the question is, what is the present tense of the verb to be? I'm sorry, in the, in the plural, I'm sorry, in the plural. Sorry? Is, let me see, are invited? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what the answer is. Yeah, are invited. So let me show you, just to make sure that you understand exactly what it is. Let me show you the answer. I got it, teacher. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> yeah, okay, so. good. See, oh, okay. the next uh, the next people on the list are invited to appear okay. instead. So here we have the verb to be in the um, simple present plural form and plural. the past participle, which is invited. Okay. okay, yeah, I got it, teacher. Thank All you. All right, you're welcome. Anything else? I have a problem in the section five. Section five, and okay. In the number number five, the the sal tax will be lower. Okay, just just a moment, just one moment. Okay, so section number five, and what's the number? Five. Five point five. Number five. Yes. Okay, 5.5 5 number, are you sure it's 5.5? 5 .5? Because 5.5 5 .5 is a lesson objective. Um, what, what number is it? So it could be 5.2, 5 5.7, 5 or 5.10. Uh, 5.7. 5.7, okay. All right, 5.7 yeah. and which one? No, number five. Number five. Okay. So this is what we call tag questions. Okay. Tag questions um, are questions that um, uh, to, to make the question, we use first a statement and then a tag ending. And how we make the tag ending is by inverting just the, um, the auxiliary and then the subject, okay? So in this case, okay. what is the auxiliary? Um, I know. That's the tax, the tax, sorry, the sales tax should be lowered. What is the model auxiliary that we're using there? Um, the sales tax should be lowered. What is the model auxiliary? So, yeah, they should. Should, okay, should is the model auxiliary. Good, okay, just should, okay? And what is the subject? It, uh, they, pardon, they. No, what is the subject? Just tell me exactly what the subject is. The tax, the sales tax should be lowered. In that sentence, what is the, the, the subject? The sales tax should be lowered. Uh, the tax. The whole thing. The sales tax. Good. The sales tax. Okay. Now, the sales okay. tax. Is the sales tax I, 
you, he, she, it, we, or they? They. Okay, notice is the sales tax. It's, it's, it's tax, not taxes, tax. So it's a singular or plural. They. So sales, sales tax, sales tax, yeah. is it singular or plural? Plural. No, because if it was plural, it would be taxes. So it's singular. La palabra tax is singular. Okay. Porque el plural de tax is taxes. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So if it's singular, what is the subject? I, you, he, she, it, we, or they? It. Exactly. It. Very good. Okay. So we have the, uh, the, the, sub, the model auxiliary or the, the, the auxiliary is should, and then we use it. But the only thing that changes in the tag in the tag questions is that you do the opposite. So if in the main clause we have affirmative, uh, affirmative auxiliary, in the tag question we have a negative auxiliary. So what is the negative of should? Okay. In my, what is the negative of should? Um, sh shouldn't. Good. Okay, so we have shouldn't. And what is the, uh, the subject? Shouldn't eat. Perfect. There you go. That's the answer. Okay? So just to make sure, here are the answers. Okay. The sales tax should be lower shouldn't it okay all right there it is because Thanks. should is the um is affirmative and shouldn't is negative okay okay thank you all right you're welcome all right susana you have another question yes i have teacher mm -hmm. all right um i'm having trouble with um section three uh three Point seven. Okay. Just give me a second while I get there. Section three, right. um, three point seven. Did you say? Yes, okay. I did. All right. Let me find it. Right. <clears throat> okay. What number in three point seven? Um, it will be number three, uh, letter B, and number four, letter A. Okay, hold on. I'm a little confused. Okay, you said 3.7. Mm -hmm. Number and, uh, three. Yes. Number three, okay. And number uh, four. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. I got it. I, uh, I understand what you're saying. Okay. So three, right. three number, number, <coughs> sorry, A or B did you say? Uh, and the number three, I say B. Okay, just a moment. Just give me a moment, Dutch. All right. I'm starting to get a cough attack there. No mm, worry. Bring some water, maybe that helps. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, so you said three, letter A, right? Or yes. letter B? Letter A. Okay. No, letter B, sorry, sorry. Letter B, okay. Yes. Um, all right, so this is the what we were talking about last time, um, using uh, modal, um, modal auxiliaries to talk about um, opinions, right? So in mm. this case, um, so what, what auxiliary do we use for, for opinions? Uh, for opinions, uh, should. Yes, very good. We use should. And uh, what do we use after should? 
Should have. Yes, very good. Should have. And then past participle of start. Uh, started. Started. Yes, started. Now, I think that if I'm not mistaken, the problem that you're having this one is that uh, the platform includes the word yawning as part of the answer. Oh, really? Come on. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yeah, so it's going to look like this. Let me try it. Oh, come on. That's the answer now. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Okay. So should have started yawning. I know. Right. Sometimes, um, sometimes it's just like silly little things like that, right? Um, sometimes it's a big thing, right? But sometimes it's something like that. So just yeah. But you 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 have the idea, you got the idea. So don't worry, you you are doing well. And um what was the other one you said? Four point what? Um, or, sorry, four number was, A or B uh, or letter letter A or B. B. Okay. Is, um, give me a second. No, sorry, it's A. Sorry, oh, sorry. A. Okay. All right. So yeah. Let me see A. Okay. Okay. So let me try this... to put the, the end of the the for him. Maybe is that the problem? <laughs> oh, maybe. No, no, no. Okay. So in this one, um, no. is it is it an opinion or is it an advice? Give me a second. No. Mm. Should be an advice, right? And it's an advice, exactly. So we're going to be using should or would? Uh, would. Would. Negative of would? Uh, wouldn't. Right. And after after would, wouldn't, what do we need to use? Wouldn't have paid you yes. Yes, exactly. Wouldn't have paid. That's exactly the answer. But it, uh, the platform says it's wrong. Um, did you write it like this? Give me a second so I can see it. Oh, shit. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay. All right. So I spell paid. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's my problem. Okay. Yeah. No problem. No problem. Right. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. Anything else? Any other questions that you guys have about the platform? Mm, for me, I think that's it. But okay. Thank you. All right. What about the rest of you guys? I, I have. Let me go on. With yep. a SSI, uh, five point seven. Five point seven. Okay, just give me a moment while I get to five point seven. Uh, I, the the number four, five, and seven. Uh, I have back. Sorry, could you repeat that? Uh, the number four, five, and seven. Eight. Four, five, and seven. Okay, five already, uh, we, we talked about this one already at the beginning of the class. So I think maybe you're gonna be able to get the answer from there. But four, um, okay, so in that case, remember what I was explaining, um, that we need to use um, the auxiliary and then the subject. So in, in the in the sentence, there are more and more homeless people on the streets. What is the auxiliary? What? What is the auxiliary? Uh, auxiliary. Uh-huh. Um, number, num number four. Number number four is there there are okay so what is the auxiliary in that sentence? There are okay R, right? The auxiliary would be R, right? R right? Yes? Okay, all right. Good. 
And we're going to, in this case, put the negative of R because the sentence is in the affirmative, right? So there are more and more homeless people is in the affirmative. So we're gonna to have to change R to the negative. What is the negative of R? There aren't. Aren't, very good. Okay, and then what is the subject? So yeah, hungry. Mm -mm. No, the subject is at the beginning of the sentence. Uh, the sleep? Mm. No. This, the first, okay, the, at the beginning of the verb or before the verb, we always have the, sun, the, the subject. So what is the subject? Moth? Moth? No, before the subject. Sorry, the, 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 before the verb. Before? Mm -hmm. uh, people. No, ¿qué palabra está antes del de verbo? Antes del verbo, este... Eh, more. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Que de ar, eh, are. Eh. Muy bien, are. Are es el verbo. Entonces, ¿cuál es la palabra antes de are? Antes. Sí. There. 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 Exactly. That's a subject. Okay. So you're not going to yeah. say, so the subject is, is going to be there. So you're going to say, aren't there okay okay so it's gonna look like this okay so it's gonna look like there are more and more homeless people on the streets aren't there because the sub because the subject is this subject there the verb are so we're just gonna change them we're just gonna change are there but because we need to make a tag ending we're going to make a negative aren't there simple okay you just have to switch that's it number okay five okay number five lo acabamos de hacer la número cinco lo acabamos de hacer que eh, we talked about um Just give me a moment. Yes. Just a second. In number five, uh, we talked about um, that the sales tax is singular. So it's it's not going to be, it's not they, it's it because it's singular. Okay? So the subject okay. is going to be it, not they. What was the other one? Uh, only, only six. Number six. Okay. So... It isn't easy to save money these days. What is the auxiliary? Uh, auxiliary is, is, isn't. Isn't, very good, okay. Now, uh, what is, because we're gonna do the opposite. So if the auxiliary is negative, we're going to make that positive. It's gonna be the opposite. So what is the positive of isn't? Is. Is good, and now the subject. It, it, it exactly. So the answer is, is it? Okay. okay, just like here. Okay, so it isn't easy to save money these days. Is it? Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. All right. Great. Okay, Susana, did you still have a question or um, se no, estaba no, no, number seven. Oh, number no, seven. For that, just uh, okay. Okay. Uh so uh Vanessa, you still have a question for number seven? Number seven, I don't have. Okay, okay, I understand. All right. Um all right, so downsizing is hurting the economy. What is this, the auxiliary? Is. is. What is the negative of is? 
Skinsen, very good. Now, what is the subject? Downsizing. Downsizing, exactly. Downsizing is an activity, okay? Downsizing, an activity. So, um, is that, what, what's, what is the subject? Is downsizing I, you, he, she, it, we, or they? I don't know the meaning the the downsizing. Downsizing just means to um make something smaller, right? Like um to like if I have many people working in my job, like maybe I have twenty people. If I downsize, I means that I lower the amount of people and I only have fifteen. I I fire all of the other five. That's just what it means. But the important here thing is that downsizing is an activity. That's the most X, important thing here. X, X, will be. It's in it, will be. Sorry, so could you repeat that, Vanessa? Eh, sería is in it. Very good, exactly, that's. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. So um, it's going to be, isn't it? Yeah. Very good. You got it. Okay. Good job, Vanessa. Bravo. Only that. Okay. Only that. Hmm? Only that. Okay, great. What about the rest of you guys? Any other questions that I can help you with? Okay. All right, well, if there are no more questions, uh, we'll continue. Um, of course, this was, um, I mean, um, I told you guys that I was going to be helping you guys with um, the exercises um, in the platform today, but that doesn't mean that I cannot continue helping you, okay? So if you have more questions for tomorrow, you just, just tell me, just be very, remember, just tell me exactly which activities so I can go directly to those activities. Okay, so um, in that case, what we're going to do is continue with our class in the textbook. Here we have, um, this is now section number four, and we have, um, we have some, um, some, a list of uh, movie firsts, okay? So we have uh, the, the first silent narrative film was The Great Train Robbery, which was in 1903. The first Mickey Mouse cartoon was in 1928. Mm -hmm. The first drive-in movie theater, do you guys know what a drive-in movie theater is? Do you guys know what that is? Um, como uno de esos, um, no sé cómo decirlo, pero como es um, donde van a un como parqueo mm -hmm. y se quedan ahí um, en los carros viendo la película así como al aire libre y eso. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, so basically, um, it's watching a movie inside of your car. You don't have to go out of your car to watch the movie. Yeah. You just got to make sure you have a comfortable car. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to be very uncomfortable for the two hours. Okay, next it says um, the color epic, the first color epic movie was Gone with the Wind in 1939. The full length three dimensional three um, or 3D movie feature film was House of Wax, was, which was in 1953. So that's actually quite a long time ago. The first movie to gross. One hundred million dollars. It was Jaws in 1975. Yeah. Um, the the first IMAX 3D film was We Are Born of Stars, which was in 1985. The first advanced computer technology was uh, Terminator 2, which was in 1991. And the first computer animated feature film 
was Toy Story, which was in 1995. And the first movie to gross over $1 billion was Titanic in 1998. My question is, have you ever seen any of these movies? Did you enjoy them? Have you ever seen a silent film? A Mickey Mouse cartoon? A 3D film? A movie at a drive-in? An IMAX film? And are there many movies made in your country? Name a few of your favorites. So these are some of the questions that I want you to be discussing with your uh, with your partner. Do you under understand the questions, or are there any questions about the questions? Okay, no, I yeah. Do we understand the questions? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So what I'll do then is I'll put you guys into breakout rooms so you guys can discuss these questions with uh with your partners. Okay. Um. So let me share first in the in the WhatsApp. Just a moment. Okay, do you see the the picture I just sent? Yes. Yes, teacher. Wonderful. Okay. Yes. yes. All right. So what I'll do then, I'll put you guys into small breakout rooms so that you guys can discuss. And I'll give you about five minutes to discuss that. Okay. Here we go. Reina? Reina, ¿se puede conectar? Reina? You Sorry. have the, let me see the screenshot. Somebody have uh, that. Uh, yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, Can you, to share my screen. Right okay, that's gonna be great. Yeah. If you try to share the, the screenshot, because I don't, I don't have to share. Oh. oh, there you go. Okay, me ganaron. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so if you want, I can, uh, let me see the first one. Say, have you ever seen any these movies, Jancy? Mm. Let me see. Well, I think Mickey Mouse cartoon. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, Mickey Mouse cartoon. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see another one. Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy them? 
Well, I was a child, so I think yes. <laughs> I don't see movies a lot, so I don't know. I don't remember so too much about a movie. Soy poca para las películas, literalmente. <laughs> Yeah, have you have you ever seen Silent Hill? I don't know Silent that that is the terror movie, the Silent Hills. I don't I don't know. No, I no, no, so. no. Um sorry. Um no oh, silent films are those films that don't have any um sound oh, for them. I got and it. They like, are from like, a, like, a Chal like a Charles Chaplin, yes. right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, I got mm -hmm. it. I got it. I'm okay. sorry. Yeah. In my case, um, no, I I never seen a, a movie like this, you know. But let me see which one. What else? If you want, you can you can ask me a question if you want. Um, have you ever seen a three D film? Excuse me, I'm sorry. Have you ever seen a three dimension film? Three dimension, three dimension film. Oh, the three D. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, but I don't like that, you know, because uh that make me I don't know how to say DC, I think. I don't like the movie like that. It's, it's not for me. Yep. What about you, uh Irma? I think Toy Story. <laughs> yes, too. Mm -hmm. And Titanic. <laughs> Have you ever seen Terminator? Terminator. Yes. <laughs> Is interesting and emotional. Okay. Okay. All right. So just some questions. Have you guys ever seen a, a silent film? Yes, I have. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Which one? Do you remember the name? Yeah, just the actor is Chap Chaplin. <laughs> oh, okay. A Charlie Chaplin movie. Okay. All right. Good. Well, yeah. even in some cartoon like uh, Tommy Yeri. Yeah. yeah, you can yeah. hear you can hear like a uh, music, uh, you know, back and back. That's uh, true. Yeah, they never say nothing. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Have you guys ever um seen a three D film? Yes, I did once. Yeah. <laughs> 
Which yeah. one? I saw Titanic. <laughs> oh, interesting. Wow. That must yeah. have been quite amazing. Okay. All like right. What? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, okay, let's take a look at this uh, at this conversation here. Um, you can listen and repeat after me. <clears throat> Working on movies must be really exciting. Can you repeat that? Working on movie movies must be really exciting. exciting. Oh yeah, but it's also very hard work. Oh, yeah. A one minute scene in a film can take in one days to shoot. A, a one minute scene, scene in a film can take a few days to shoot. To shoot. Yeah. 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 Good. Really? Why is that? Really? Really? Why is that? Well, a scene isn't filmed just once. Well, well a scene isn't filmed just once. once. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Lots, Lots of different, different shots, shots, shots have to be, have to to be, be taken. taken. Shots have to be taken. Only the best ones are used in the final film. So how many times? So how many times? So how many times? Many times. Does a typical scene need to be shot? Does a typical scene need to be shot? It depends, but sometimes as many as twenty times. It depends sometimes as many as 20 times. 20 times. One scene may be shot. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Five, five or six different angles. Wow, I didn't realize that. Wow, wow, I didn't, wow. Think I didn't, I didn't realize, realize that. that. I didn't realize that. Why don't you come visit the studio? Why don't you come visit the studio? Visit the studio? Studio. I can show you how things are done. I can, I can show you how things are done. Are done. Things are done. Great, I'd love to. Good. Okay, excellent. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary here? Yeah. Angles. Angles. Um, so um angles means like uh for example, you're let's say my let's take my face yeah. as an example. So you're looking at me face on, right? So that's one angle. But I can also be on this side over here. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got it. That's yeah, I got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. All right. Any yeah, other yeah, words? Yeah. Any other words? Shots. Yeah. Shot. Shot. Uh, a shot is like a film. Okay, like a, it's it's been filmed. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Really? Oh, Sorry, Emma. Wow. Emma, do you have a question? No, teacher. Excuse me. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, teacher, um, what does it mean rely realizing that? Re realize is to um to understand. Oh, okay. It's like, oh you, wow, I I didn't realize that. It means I didn't understand that before. I didn't know that. I just I just uh I just figured that out. To I just wow. discovered it. Ah, wow, okay. Okay, I get it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anything else? No, teacher. See you tomorrow. <laughs>
Yes. It's time. Sorry. All right. So, is there anything else that you, any other questions that you guys want to ask about? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, for me, I need one more hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the more the yeah. better, right? But yeah, unfortunately, that's all the time we have. All right, but um, if you guys have any other questions, you guys can uh, make sure just write them down and I can answer them tomorrow, okay? All right, guys, so that will be all, all right. for today. I will see you guys tomorrow, all right? So take all right, care. Take care. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Okay. Have a good day. Bye. 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 B